Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're going to show you how we deal about a run that you get when you're actually spraying on trim. And if you're spraying trim in the, or woodwork and you get a run with latex paint, we're going to show you how you deal with that. And we got a run on a column in here we're going to be dealing with, and we're going to be wet sanding it and to get the run out, and then we're going to be respaying the column. So if you get a run and you see or see a run starting, the best thing to do is just let it dry and then wet sand it and bondo and glaze it, use bondo and glazing putty to help get rid of it and then reshoot the surface. Trying to brush the run out or deal with it while it's wet could actually make it a lot worse because it begins to dry and coagulate really fast and it'll leave brush strokes all over it. So the best thing to do in dealing with the run, let that run dry and then begin to wet sand the run and respray it. So we're going to show you that process using a 3M sanding sponge with some water. We're going to wet sand it and use Bondo glazing putty if we need to. So we're dealing with this run on this column. Got a couple tools we're going to be using. It's going to be the 3M sanding sponge, either a medium or a fine sanding sponge, a bucket with some water to wet our sanding sponge because keeping your sanding sponge wet is what's going to make the sanding process easier and it's going to make it so the paint doesn't actually, when you're sanding it, heat up and gum up and get all gummy. The sanding, uh, with wet sanding that makes it nice and smooth and a lot easier to sand. We're also going to be using some Bondo glazing and spot putty if we need it to uh, smooth over with a spackle knife. So you'll be using a spackle knife if you need the Bondo glazing and spot putty after you sand it. You got to determine after you sand it if it completely sands out. Then of course we're going to be needing our sprayer to respray it. So here's a close up look at this run. I don't know if we can actually get it on video. You can might be able to see it in their proper lighting but this is the run that we're going to be dealing with right here i think there you go you can see it right there so after looking at this thing we're actually going to take a window scraper and the run there's a pretty heavy line on the run so we're going to, to make the sanding process a lot easier we're going to scrape off some of the run with this razor knife and then begin the sanding process So I've now scraped off the, the biggest part of the, the run, um, the, the ridge, kind of the mountain of it. Now I'm going to begin sanding it. So I've just got my 3M sponge with water. Just going to dip my 3M sponge with water, wring it out, and then begin sanding. Make sure you keep this sponge nice and wet. Gonna take a rag. Once I get it all sanded, just wipe it off clean. Take a look at it and see how it looks. See if, I, if there's any deep pockets that I or holes that I need to actually bondo. I was using a medium sanding sponge. Got it all wet sanded. I got a fine sanding sponge here. And I'm just gonna lightly go over it, dry sand it, just lightly to smooth out any more of the ridges around here where it took off all the paint. I can still feel just a little bit of the ridges around the edges, so I'm actually going to use my fine sponge, I'm wetting it, and I'm going to wet sand that with a fine 3M sanding sponge. So now that we got it all sanded off, you can see how it's masked off. You got to uh, determine a section where you can mask off a whole section and respay a whole section because you can't just spray just the spot you sanded because it'll leave a dry feathered edge around that spot where you're just spraying. So we found a nice logical place where we can mask it off and so we're going to shoot this whole face of this column. But I'm going to shoot one shot right across where our touch up is first. We're going to let that dry and then reshoot the whole face because the first shot's going to fill in those areas where we actually sand it and hopefully it smooths out those ridges. Spray the first coat on this and I can actually see my ridge line still a little bit so now I'm actually going to use some Bondo. I've got some Bondo and glazing putty right here. I'm going to smear it on there and then to attempt to hide that the ridge lines and the run a little bit better and then we're going to sand the Bondo and reshoot it.
close look at the thin coat of Bondo I put on there. We can let that dry about an hour and then we're gonna sand it. back here and we're actually got it primed it's drying and we're gonna now get ready to shoot it and you'll see us spraying the thing here pretty soon